Hello and welcome to another video tutorial video. Today we're going to build the Scorpion robot. So this is actually the first robot in the tutorial where we don't really emphasize on the motion of the robot because the Scorpion robot is actually designed to be interactive. We've actually incorporated all the sensors into this robot model so that we can utilize the real planner to its fullest. Now let's get started and build this Scorpion. To build the Scorpion, we're going to start with the real controller as the body. So first, it's going to be like this, the head is going to be here, the tail and then the claws. So on both sides, we want to slot in adapter joints at the ends and then just fill it up with double spacers. So for this side, I want the adapter joint to be here. So four double spacers and then one adapter joint. So just a tip, make sure that the adapter joint is always facing uh, upwards, the slot is facing upwards towards the screen. So it'll be easier for you to build because if you build anything here and then if this one is facing down, it'll be hard for you to slot in parts later on. So this is just a precaution, just in case. And there's also a tip. So repeat it for the other side. Also the adapter joint at the end. Okay, so now for the front and the end, we want adapter joints at the middle. So slot in a double spacer first and then slot in a single spacer and then the adapter joint. So in case you haven't noticed yet, you can have a adapter, an adapter joint directly at the middle if you use this side, but it's okay if it's slanted to one side a bit, it doesn't matter. So repeat it for the other end. Two double spacers, one single spacer and one adapter joint. Okay, and now for the bottom, we're going to slot in two adapter joints at this side, the side where the tail should be. So for this side, slot in the adapter joint first. Make sure the adapter joint is facing outwards, so to avoid the problems. And then repeat for the other side. So it's one adapter joint and four double spacers. And with this, we're done. So now for the tail, we will need four cube servos because the tail mainly has four segments. And then we need four U-joints. So here I will use two normal U-joints and then two long U-joints. Of course, this is completely up to you because it's meant to be customizable. But if you use a different combination of U-joints, then maybe you need to modify the assembly later. Okay, so now connect the cube servos to the U-joints, all of them to make four segments. This is the first. Just repeat the same thing for all four. <clears throat> okay, so now we have four segments. Now connect, interconnect to the ends of the U-joints, all four of them. Okay, so now we have four segments, so now you can choose your own combination, but what I would like to do is to have the two segments with the long U-joints at the bottom, and then the segments with the normal U-joints, the shorter ones, at the top. This is because the long U-joints one will be closer to the body this way, and then since it's closer to the body, then if you use the shorter ones, which is for more detailed movements, it will, it will have no point. So using a long one to extend it further, then you can use the shorter one that can do more detailed motions at the end so that later when you put a sensor here, it will sense, you can make it sense more detailed. You can make more, let's say, fine-tuned movements. Okay, so now with the interconnect here, just slot in the ultrasonic sensor, whichever way you want, like this. And then at the end, right here, put an interconnect and then slot in the infrared sensor. So the tail will function like this. So the other side sensors in front and then you have an infrared at the back so that your scorpion can sense things at the back, maybe obstacles or even enemies. And then lastly, an interconnect opposite to the infrared sensor. 
So this inner connect is going to be connected to the body. And with that, we are done with the tail. So now we're going to build the claw. So the claw is very very simple, the sample claw. Of course you can, once again you can modify. So first connect a cube servo to a long U joint, like this. And then use the interconnect to connect the long U joint to the large U joint, like this. So this is the claw, so, so very simple. So just slot in another interconnect. So this is where it will go to the body. And then just duplicate this again. And thus we are done. So now we are going to build the wheels. So we are going to directly build it onto the body. So we need two servos, one for each side. So for this side, first use the interconnect to connect a servo to the adapter joint. So we're doing this so that there won't be lesser conflicts later on. So now we need to connect a cube joint here. This is so that it can provide support. So here's a tip, you can actually use a rotatable connect here. If you don't want to use uh, interconnect because maybe you want to conserve the, inter conserve the interconnects for later on. Maybe you have other uh, modifications you want to use and you need interconnect, you can use a rotatable connect here. Okay, so re repeat it for the other side. So for that, for the adapter joint, it has to be an interconnect for stability. Slide in. Now use a rotatable connect. So slide in. So you see, it doesn't. Although it turns a bit, but when you actually use it, it'll be okay. It will provide support. So just slot in the wheels, the slim wheels, the upper connects. And with that, we are done for this part. So now we are going to build the head. So for the head, we actually need to use two cube joints. So connect them together with an interconnect first. Okay. Now on one of the cube joints, slide in the interconnect on the top. So this is for the head module. But before that, remember to slot in a rotatable connect here. So this is supposed to go to the body. So we're using a rotable connect here so that you can conserve your interconnect. But of course, if you want to have a more solid head, you can use uh, interconnect also. So now slot in the head module, and we are done. So now we're going to assemble the whole scorpion. So first, let the arms go into the adapter joints, and then the tail into the adapter joint in the back. This. Okay. So for the final part, just slide in the head. So as you can see, although I use a rotatable connect, once I slot it in, it will be rather stable because the shape of the head allows it to... It won't shake too much also. So it's okay if you don't want to use the interconnect like before. And we're done. So remember that it's best to connect the wires of the tail so that they crisscross inside the U-joint so they won't protrude out the tail that might cause some problems when the tail uh, is operating and then also if you have other modification remember to modify the wiring to the modification so that it won't cause any problems like the wires entangled with the parts and so on and with that we are done with the Scorpion robot so now that we are done building, you can try for yourself to program the robot. So here are some examples of the interactivity which I was talking about. As you can see, we have all three sensors built in. So there are a total of four sensors because the head module has an IR sensor and a mic sensor. Here we have an ultrasonic sensor and here we have an IR sensor. So what we want to do is something like this. It can interact with if a person gets near it and tries to do something to it. So let's say, I'll turn it on first. So let's say someone tries to attack it from behind, it will see it and it will turn to the back to maybe defend itself. Or maybe if it hears a very loud sound, you retreat. Or even if someone tries to turn him off, it will attack. Okay. So this is what we are trying to do with the Scorpion robot. We don't really want to emphasize on the motion because even if we do, because I think it's important to try to explore more than just, the, more than just how a robot moves around. So, until the next video, I'd like you guys to try to write your own program and most importantly, try to customize your own Scorpion robot. Because 
it doesn't really need to be just this this configuration you can sacrifice the wheels to add pincers to the robot or maybe make the tail longer it's all up to you so until the next video thank you very much